Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of... Oh, my goodness. What is today's episode? Um... Castile! There we go! I'm just joking, people. I didn't know what it was. I just wanted to see if you guys were like, Oh, my goodness. Did he actually just forget what to, what the actual intro was? Yeah, no, I remembered. Today's Castile were the rulers of Terra España. And we have some little problems with that and the fact that we are... Not able to attack on anyone, for one, and for two, we have the Portuguese slowly starting to move into our land. I don't like either of these things, but they are happening. And it is honestly becoming quite annoying, let me just say that now. So, anyways, we were thinking last episode that we finally, I'm finally just gonna bite the bullet. Let's go, let's go attack, let's go attack Morocco. I mean, they have no good allies, and honestly, why not go attack them? I've, I've been like holding it off for years. Let's just let's just finally bite the dust. Go attack them, take their land, and become the evil Europeans that most like most like uh, Moroccanians hate today. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Castile. What 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 great expansionism on their part? Like, if you actually think about Castile and the route to becoming one of the biggest empires in the world. Almost as big as England did, but not quite. They were insane aggressors, just insane. You could talk, you could talk, you could talk an entire history book, in fact, probably is an entire history book about their aggression towards everyone. I mean, they just not only didn't just take a don't, don't ask what the culture is and just annex them, but they took a aggressive, aggressive approach. And as we slowly start to discover the entire continent. With Fernando Polezzo, who I'd like to add has not lived in his own home country for like 40 years. He's basically been out here sending messages. No, I actually imagine he's probably sending birds back to Spain and they somehow make it all the way across the, the canal. I'll call this a canal just because. And they basically, he just sends them back and forth between us and he's like, yeah, I'm still living in the Americas. I'm wondering when you guys are going to come pick me up. Uh, you know, I discovered this cool little river here. I discovered this little cool land here. There's this culture over here. You know, it's all cool, but it's just... I, I would love to come back home now. Wow, that... Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Morocco was not ready for that. So, let's just get this all done with. So, I'm going to have you guys... Break off into about units up there. Just go across. We're gonna have to be really quick though, like I said, because they do have a bigger army at the start. But if we can quickly get our troops on there, we could easily overpower them. Now, you know, I could have done this earlier, but I just realized I could probably just ask for military access from Portugal and make this a lot simpler and a lot less hectic. And let's see, are they sending any troops after me to try to block off my 8k? Because this would be the smart thing to do. As we know from being Morocco, is to attack them before they get all grouped up. Let's see if this Morocco is smart enough to realize this. This militaristic genius strategy. Nope, they are not, and now I'm more powerful than they ever could be. And look at that. 17 men already across the strait. We could probably divide it even more. Probably go send some to Tangiers. Ah, the Reconquista, everyone. One of the greatest events in Spanish history. Uh, as we make it today. Okay, so the Papal Infancy. This guy, I don't know what it is about me and and England, but we just do not want to give up our Cardinals. We're like, nah, we're not going to give him up. And apparently this guy has explored everything. Well, not this. Go all the way back down to make sure you've explored everything. So I want to make sure if this land is done, we need to know all the riches and glory of it. Okay, but he's almost done. He's almost done exploring everything down there. And we have honestly, I guess, wow, where, where's the army? I'm kind of, there it is! Okay, divide up the forces, go this way. Because I don't think they're going to make it in time. Ooh, yes, okay. There we go. Oh, dang it. I don't think, I don't think I'm still going to win this, even with, oh wait, yes I am, I am going to win this. Aha, take that! <laughs> oh my goodness. With that many men, with that many people, we still won the battle. I mean, that was a crushing defeat. And let me just like, 
first group these guys up, divide the units, get the uh, transports out of there because I don't want the transports to divide, I want them to just maintain in one spot. So I usually like to keep a transport fleet. And then from here now we can just automatically divide across the channel and straight. What is this? What is the difference between a straight and a channel? I wonder. Like I've never really thought of this really hard. But what is the difference? Like I, you, I hear those words all intercha interchangeably. What is their actual difference? Like what difference between a channel and a straight? Is it just how narrow it is, or is it just how big it is? Like what defines the difference? Okay, and back over here. There we go. Yeah, now we're just sieging the entire coastline and making them feel. We're making these guys feel really, really bad about themselves. Morocco is going to feel insanely bad. And if they do try to attack me, which I think they will. Are they attacking me with 3,000 troops? Because I really want to see this. Are they, are they really attacking me with 3,000 troops? They're really going to try to attack me with 3,000 troops. Oh my goodness. Unless you guys get that 10k in there, that's not gonna work. I guarantee you that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, now the game fully blockaded, so I should start the game taking war score. I'm only getting taking war score, but to get even more taking war score. Civil war! Wow, there are just a ton of civil wars breaking out. These these monarchs over here just don't know how to keep their power. Like, seriously. And it seems like our person has just discovered more land. No, he's still getting down there. He's moving across the he's moving across the massive continent of Terra Espania. Which is taking a long, long time to reach. Like a very long time. Let's see. And while we just wait here and watch our enemies slowly gain more power, he's sending in more troops again, thinking that he can beat me. Um we can actually send in more troops actually, because I don't really need to keep that many siege people here. And he's gonna try to defeat me, but of course I get more men. And he gets destroyed. Okay. Group up all these guys. And Go detach a siege. We're gonna go destroy his army now. I don't, I don't really feel like playing this game very often. Let's just go destroy his army, make it pay. And there we go. Okay, and it's going it's gonna go somewhere like this. So I'm just going to completely like go across to make sure it all dies. There we go. Ah, yeah, it seems like some of them are breaking off over there. So I'm gonna break it off over there. We're just breaking up everyone. They're gonna try to attack me right there. What are they thinking? Uh, they really do not know my troops very well. I can basically survive a lot of what you guys are gonna dish out. Okay, now you guys are gonna go over there. Well, don't worry, my army's moving back up here. Don't worry. Morocco, Morocco, don't worry. You guys have 5k versus all my men. Unless I'm an idiot and, see and don't carpet siege right, I should be able to defeat you pretty easily. Like, pretty da- okay. Let's go like, right here, then right there. And just stop right there. And there we go. You died. <laughs> there we go, now we can just start carpet sieging. Carpet sieging. Cause you, we don't need any more. Start carpet sieging, cause you guys are gonna all die. Carpet sieging. Cause there's like, no other reason why not to. You guys go down here. Yeah, we almost, wow, we almost have enough men just to completely carpet seize their entire country. That is awesome. And we do have a couple places that are just not carpet siegeable, but we have most of them that are. There we go. Card no, lo no longer loyal to us. This is probably going to be one of those annoying cardinals. It just is never going to become loyal to us. It's going to be one of those like, of course, guys, I'm totally going to be on your side. <laughs> has a little smoky smile and apparently there is a risk where we can't actually get through here so we can't actually discover any of this land but hey this guy let's see is there any other land we need to kind of discover this seems to be a little bit more land over here so let's figure out what this land over here entails and man I'm starting to, I'm really liking the look of our continent right now like Terra Hispania looks pretty nice for the most part, it doesn't look like a stupid continent, it looks like just a regular continent. Like nothing really, really obscenely stupid, and there's apparently a blow up fleet right here. Let's go blow it up. <laughs> oh no! There we go, I thought, oh, I thought our fleet was gonna die, I was like, oh no! Okay, we have a lot stronger people here to help support the army just in case this happens again, but wow, that, that scared me for a second. Okay, you guys go right here, you guys go right there. Yeah, we're just... Morocco should start to give up to us in a couple of seconds. 
Um, speaking of which, what do we want out of these guys? Um, there are no countries that we can honestly release from them, which kind of does stink. We cannot fully annex them. I kind of expected that. I didn't really think that I could. Uh, what we want, though, is probably Tangiers and Malia. Um, that's probably all we're going to take. And I know a couple of you guys are probably thinking, James, why don't you take more? It's going to be hard enough to manage these two colonies as it is. Because, if you guys don't know, the uh, Sunni Faith gets an extra bonus to, like, you know, coin cost. And so does the, you know, Culture Berber. So it's going to be very hard to convert these already. So if they're already willing to give us what we want, let's get take as much money as we can. And there we go. Voila! And since this is probably going to be a hostile place, I'm going to group up my army and then keep about, like, roughly 17k over here. Yeah. This place is going to be an insanely, like, troublesome place. And then take a colony from Portugal. I have that goal now. Yeah, i really not sure how much longer I'm going to keep this alliance with Portugal. They are really going to be my uh, bread and butter when it comes to warring. Seriously, I mean, they have literally a lot of land I would love to have. So, you'll rem we'll remain friendly for a little bit more, but it's most our relationship is about to end. I just hope you know that. You guys, though, it's time for you guys to go protect trade in my trade node. You guys go protect trade in my trade node. And gain us back to trade again. Because <laughs> that's what usually happens. They usually think that they can do stuff. And we have two free diplomats. And I haven't been using them very often. Let's see. England and us are still very good friends. Even though I don't think this is going to last very much longer. We're probably going to become enemies. But let's improve relationships otherwise. Uh, Denmark. We could probably improve relationships with you guys. Because you guys seem pretty stable. I mean pretty stable means a lot. Doesn't mean a lot. But... It's pretty stable. Well, let's get you guys all over here grouped up. Okay, all you guys over here then. Gosh. Okay, yeah. Accept. Or decline. Accept! <laughs> Not really a hard decision when it's a bluff and death. And I think the 8k is about what I'm going to leave here. So I'm going to ferry over about these guys. And there we go. That was the first step to the Terra Incarnita. And then the next step is probably going to be a little bit harder, especially when I try to take Algiers from uh, a bigger foe. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is, oh my goodness, Ragusa. Woo! Dang, Ragusa, you guys did good in conquering, like, the uh, Yugoslavian region. Dang. Okay, but anyways, the next war is probably going to be a little bit harder because we're going to be up against the Ottomans. And the Ottomans, as you guys know, are bullies. <laughs> They're the, bully, they're the bullies of the Sunni faith, so I'm going to have to deal with that. And let's see, do we have any more land down here? No. So, yeah, we basically discovered the entire continent over here. We could probably go, just go, like, finish up all the little places, just so we know where everything is. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You can just go around, walking around, and just finish up culling all the other places. For us, though, we're going to be trying to get all of our troops back to our main continent. Yeah, let's just divide it into seven, then. If I can't get them all back at the one point, let's just divide them all into seven. And I just realized a quicker way to do this is probably just to keep them on the boats and then just land them. That's probably going to be a much quicker way of doing this. Because then they just get on the boats, get off the boats, get on the boats, get off the boats. You guys get on the ships. Get some ships. You guys go this way. Do Yeah, it takes... Less days. Let's just leave it like that. Do let's get all of our men back to the main continent. Okay, you guys get to come too. All right, and there we go. troops over there and now we can become the defender of the faith which is completely impossible because I don't really want to become defender of the faith so no thank you apparently we can't core both these provinces which kind of stinks but we can core at least one of them 
And this province is gonna have severe, severe penalties. Oh my goodness, this is, this is going to be an insane province to try to get on to my side. Okay, first we have to come over the provisional income tax. The Sunni part. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, I'm gonna have fun with that one. Let's just say that. I'm going to have so much fun. Uh, and it looks like some of our troops are healing up, which is good. Um, Taxes-wise, we're making... A, Tiny bit from like we're making most of our money from like just over just our.